I wanted to show you a new feature that I found on Google Forms. I use Google Forms quite a bit. Um, as an educator, you would definitely want to use it to assess your students. Um, they can be short, they can be longer, a lot of different options. Uh, while creating a Google Form recently, I found out, I created a question, and I found a new choice. Before I knew about multiple choice, checkboxes drop down, but then there was file upload. And what this will allow you to do is have a student, even if they're on their iPad, upload like a picture, or it could be a different file type. Um, so maybe not even a picture, but you do want, like they created a Word doc. They should be able to um, upload here. So you have some choices, and I'm going to go ahead and click over here. Um, you can limit them how many files. Um, if you don't want too many, 1, 5, 10. These will get stored in your Google Drive, but really, as far as storage space, I wouldn't worry about it. Teachers pretty much have unlimited space. Um, but you just may want to limit that just in case. You might get too much stuff. Um, and then also size-wise, and I was doing pictures, and 10 was fine. But if you do have some bigger projects, you can up the... And Google uh, gigabytes are quite large, so... Be careful how big you are making that. Um, but basically, then you go ahead and you send out, you get the link that you can share with people. People take your uh, Google form. And then I'm going to show you responses. I went ahead and did this, and I uploaded from my phone and my iPad um, three responses. Now you can look at them here, but if you click on View Folder, and I'm just going to zip over here to that folder, let's say in class, you wanted to show this and have a discussion, you could have a student come up, this was somebody else's picture, and show you where the parallel lines are, and then maybe find some that are not parallel. Um, that might be a good way to talk there. Um, maybe on this one again, we have parallel lines. Um, we can also bring in the idea of perpendicular, the different choice there. And then the last one, can they find parallel lines? So this can be a fun way kind of for your students to bring parallel lines into the real world. Hopefully this will um, save you a little time assessing and make it fun for the kids too.